This details from police about a deadly mass shooting on the city's southwest side near the Chicago Lawn and Marquette Park neighborhoods. Now, this happened just after 8 last night near 63rd and Artesian. Chicago police telling us a group of men were outside on a sidewalk when a driver in a black charger pulled up and someone inside it opened fire. Four of the men on the sidewalk were hit by bullets. A 23-year-old man died at a hospital. The three other men who were hurt are all expected to recover. No one is in custody as police look for that shooter. On our side, on four now, we the underdogs. We ain't got it, for J Man gon' I'ma expose all the guys on 63rd. We ain't got it. I smoke whiskey, I smoke LA, I smoke Lubu in this cup. Cloud is crazy. Having more fame than you got money is crazy. Let's start that. That's why you see all these Chicago rappers dying quick as hell. It's merch because they got too much clout and no money. LinkedIn, we LinkedIn. Tell a friend, tell a friend, we LinkedIn. Hey, subscribe to the channel right now. Like the video right now. Comment right now. Now look, right? Now, it was a shooting last night that occurred on 63rd, right? That's right around where 051 Young Money Hood is at, right? Now, this shooting has occurred right after Tay Savage, you know, Lamron, all of them, Wugara, they lost a manager, which his name was Lil Dude, aka Honcho, but everybody recently and them called him Lil Dude, right? So the video that you seen in the beginning, it showed you that somebody got killed on 63rd earlier. They was outside chilling, got caught lacking, right? And as you know, 051 Kiddo, Tay Savage, and another, a couple other members from east side they've been going back and forth online even even other sets 051 um kiddo been dissing they've been going back and forth on live it's a lot of other people right but this shooting has occurred somebody's dead and the reason why i showed y'all that first clip right because this shooting has happened right after kiddo had posted a uh something on his instagram story trying to mock thf right so he posted a picture of thf Raheem and another picture of THF Boo, right? Now, after he did that, he went on Instagram Live saying, Oh, yeah, THF got some money on my head. Zoo got some money on my head. If you know Zoo, he hang with Dirk. He, he was the one who got caught up in that case with Dirk, Vaughn, and um, yeah, Lil Dirk and Vaughn, and Zoo got caught up in that case in Atlanta, but they all beat the Chargers, right? So now, kiddo goes online saying like, oh, what's the name? This dude got some money on my head, but he sounded scared, right? So look, right? This is what I'm going to say. Dog, what you think they going to do? And that's another reason why I showed you that clip from J-Main. J-Main told you how I go on 63rd on the other side because, you know, Chief Keith and all them boys, Lil Reese and Lil Dirk, they been having money. They been got bread a long, long time ago. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 63rd, and they ain't broke as a few dudes over there that's getting money, but, you know, they ain't got that industry money like the other side got, and that's what he was talking about, right? And now, kiddo getting online talking about, oh, yeah, this dude got money on my head. This like, dog, don't be talking that now. You get what I'm saying? You dissing, you doing all that. So what? Somebody got your, some money in your head. If you really in the streets, everybody know. Every real street nigga then took a hit or got a hit. You get what I'm saying? And if you know, you know. You feel what I'm saying? So having money in your head, you out here dissing and talking crazy and claiming that you did stuff ain't too far-fetched, bro. Like, don't get on the internet crying out. Lace them boots up and, you know, rock and roll. It's that simple. All that trying to... Get people a heads up like, oh, what's the name? Got money on my head. Ah, you pretty much putting insurance on yourself. That's what they say in the streets, putting insurance on yourself. So if something do happen to you, you know what I'm saying? Somebody you know or the police. Putting insurance on yourself is pretty much like, yeah, letting the police know like, yeah, whoop you whoop So if something happened, you going to go to jail. That, that's what they call it. That's where the putting your insurance stuff come from. But so this has happened right after that so my thing is you already know i told y'all them boys is in a savage standoff tay savage ain't for them games bro he's known for that you know um 051 kiddo i don't you know i don't really pretty much know too much history about him but everybody say he on that he with that too but you know young money got a long list of people who you know used to knowing to putting that work in pretty much right so this situation getting crazy i told y'all man y'all y'all be safe man everybody stay out the way bro because you don't want to get caught in a crossfire with that because you know the streets is hot right now in the rack but 
As y'all can see, I just put them videos up to give y'all a little context to tell y'all this so y'all can see kind of from the Chicago side because Jay Main is born and raised on 63rd. He say Reese is cousin and all that, but you never know when he trolling or whatever. But he giving the insight on everything that's going on in the rack. And you already know that. That's why Ruger made that song. They didn't let the uh, GDs in the dope. Or they let the BDs in the... What is... I, I forget the song. GDs, BDs, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think it's GDs in the dough. But that's why he made that song. Because they always said that the BDs had blackballed the GDs in the industry for a long time. So that's why he really made that song. It felt like, all right, yeah, we on now. But another thing you can see a lot of... A lot of reason why a lot of the um gds a lot of the gds are bloggers and youtubers because you know they blackball from the industry supposedly so you will see that's a why a lot of them be on the internet blogging and doing this type of stuff to get some bread because they say this is the only lane that they're not blackballed in is the youtube and the content space or whatever like that but yeah man this just an update some people slid through 63rd last night i ain't saying this taste savage and all them but you know what i'm saying it's, it's just hot out there in the rack right now, man. You know, tell a friend, tell a friend. We linked in, man. Y'all get in the comments. Drop a comment right now. Tell me what's going on. If you from the shot, let me know what's rocking out there, how I really move out there, how I feel. What's the atmosphere where you go outside? You know, you can feel that tension, man, when you go outside if you really in the streets, man. You get what I'm saying? So y'all tap in, in the comments. Let me know what's going on in the rack. Y'all feel me? Follow us on all the platforms, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, tell a friend, tell a friend, we LinkedIn.